Hi, my name is Lucy, and today I want to share with you two really great LGBTQIA plus books for teens that I have recently read. Felix Ever After is by Kaysen Callender, and it is the story of Felix, who is a Black trans queer art student living in New York City. He attends a fancy art high school. At the beginning of the book, Felix is targeted by another student in this program in a transphobic attack, which involves someone hanging up photos, old Instagram photos from Felix's feed of Felix before he transitioned, and they publicly dead name him in these photos. Uh, Felix, of course, is devastated and spends um, a good portion of the rest of the book creating this revenge plan targeting the person who he thinks perpetuated the attack against him. Uh, he finds some things out about people, both good and bad, that he didn't know before, students that he goes to school with. And um, he gets involved in a love triangle that gets kind of messy. So one of the things I really loved about this book, there was a lot that I loved about this book, but I loved the way that it explored gender identity, specifically with Felix. Um, Felix transitioned um, a couple years before we meet him in this book. He had the support of his father when he did this. His father paid for his top surgery, takes him to get his hormone shots. So Felix knows he's not a girl and he's been calling himself a boy, but there's this piece that is still sort of, it's like scratching at the back of his brain that doesn't quite feel right. And so he starts to do some research to see what what else he could be if he's not just a trans boy. Uh, Case and Calendar has populated their book with queer characters, trans characters, racially diverse characters. So it just ends up being a really strong story of friendship, of love, of heartbreak, a little bit, um, really though, self-discovery. And it is created by someone who obviously has the utmost respect for teen readers. I think that really showed through on every page of Felix Ever After. The Black Flamingo is the debut novel of a British poet, Dean Atta. And it is the story of Michael. Michael is a gay, British teen who has a Jamaican father who's absent from his life and a Greek mother who's not, who's very much part of his life. Um, and the many pieces of his identity, his race, his sexual identity, his gender, they all sort of have him struggling to find a place for himself. We meet Michael when he is about six years old and we go with him all the way through the end of high school. And um, one way that Michael helps himself in his struggle is to write poetry. And his poetry is included in this book. The whole book is written in verse. And uh, Dean Ada does a really great job of writing his own verse and then including Michael's within the story. Um, and it all blends really well together. The pieces of poetry that Michael writes are very powerful. Um, and strong and sort of help him on this road to self-discovery. So in high school, Michael meets a group of drag queens and gets accepted into their group and sort of starts to explore the world of drag and realizes that that is a place where he belongs and he feels at home. Um, the book it deals strongly with race, with gender identity, with racism, with sexuality. Um, internalized homophobia and terminalized racism. But despite all that, it does have these really lighthearted, loving moments that are just, um, they just put a smile on your face. It is truly a book about the power of embracing your own uniqueness. And we read about Michael doing that through these wonderful pages written in verse. So that is The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta.